Hi, I'm Faye Toyne. I was one of uh, Australia's leading tennis players in the 1960s. I hope you are enjoying it on YouTube. Good morning again, ladies and gentlemen. Peter Racer here from Free Park YouTube channel. And in this final series on, uh, on Faye, we're going to be having a look at what Faye's just alluded to in a private conversation with me about the most important part of the process of winning these various tennis uh, trophies that she's managed to pick up. Uh, and it's really the journey, isn't it, uh, Faye? Yes, Peter, it is. Uh, like, whilst it was wonderful to play on the centre court at Wimbledon with Daff and then win the Grand Slam with Mal and having won the Queensland Open Ladies singles, I can't remember what year, um, it was the um, journey in the teenage years from being a little girl in the bush to uh, representing Queensland in the Wilson Cup and then moving on to be selected in the um, national team that toured to Europe and the UK in 1955. And that was the first time that someone from Queensland had made it into that team, if I understand it correctly? Yeah, it was actually, yes. Another, um, another first. Mm, yeah. So, so, now talking about just travelling overseas before we then allude to the uh, this series of beautiful medallions that are sitting by your left hand uh, elbow. Um, you and Daph managed to win the German doubles open I think? Yes we did, that was a good win for us after we'd won it, uh, uh, after we'd been in the um, final at Wimbledon we went to Hamburg, it was a big event on the uh, European tennis calendar. Um, there's a story about Daphne there. I don't know whether you want to hear it or whether she has told you. About a hair, by the chance? Yeah, about a hair. Yeah. Feel free. Feel free. <laughs> well, come the day of the final, we had to play Vera Sokova, that's Helena's mother, and Erika Volmer, who was the champion of Germany. And... Um, Vera was the champion of Czechoslovakia, so I dutifully go out early and practice. So what does Daph do? She goes off to the hairdresser to get all beautiful. And um, so I think what happened was the men's singles finished early and they had to go and try and find Daph and get her out there for us to play our final of the doubles. So eventually they found her at the hairdresser and uh, I think the story goes that the crowd was slow clapping us because we weren't there. And then we went on the court and promptly lost the first set, six love, and uh, managed to pull it off in the end. So that, that was a great win and it makes a good story, doesn't it? Well, it, 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 it does. And I, I can tell you that when Daph tells that story, she does suitably blush a very nice shade of red. <laughs> so... Now, to the, to the Masters trophies, or the Masters uh, medallions, yes, tell well, us the story of those. Well, I don't like to show things off too much. And my nieces, when I moved here to back to Brisbane, we found these medals in a drawer. And um, they said, Faye, why haven't you got those on display? I said, oh, I don't want to be a show-off. So they talked me into it, and one of them framed it and hung them like this. Now, these are, three of these trophies, medals, uh, when Daff and I decided to play in the Masters games. I think Daff alluded to this in her speech at the naming of her. Um, um, one is the um, Qu Queensland Masters, I think, and one is the World Masters, and one is the Asia Pacific Masters. So, in there, there they are. In tennis? What else? Oh, I don't know. If I, I, just, I, I, I do know that you're a squash player and I wasn't quite what sure. What else? <laughs> so, very significant. And that's something that Daphne hasn't told me the story of, which is surprising because Daph tells me the story of most things. And, uh, it, and 
people really should go off and uh, research and have a look into the uh, the other YouTube playlists that are uh, that are there because they are really quite fascinating. Um, so with that, we can say now, as it happens, good afternoon. So we've covered the complete ambit of the day, uh, and Faye, it's really been a delight uh, this morning, and I'm sure that. Uh, People will just uh, flock to the petition and and s sign it, and we'll uh, get that rebound wall up at Fru Park. And you've actually been out there and had a look at that, haven't you? Yes, I did. I was most impressed, and I would be highly honoured if you would uh, put my name on one of those boards, Peter, especially at Milton, because well, it's where it all began for me. 1948, correct? Yes. Yeah, that's so. It's uh, uh, covers a fair ambient of time. So, thank you everyone, thank you Faye, and with that we'll say good afternoon. And this is a photograph after winning in Berlin. Daphne and Faye Muller on the right.